lights, models, guest list, do your best. G'day guys, Damo here, and welcome to another Round the Fire video. So to all the subscribers, welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, g'day. So what we're going to be doing today is putting in the kick-ass dual battery system. So I've had a look at a ton of different dual battery systems that uh, the man in permanent fixed, semi-permanent, uh, removable, all, all sorts of battery boxes are to go. The reason why I've chosen the uh, the kick-ass system is because for under a thousand bucks you get this entire kit. So I mean it comes with the box a 25 amp uh, DC to DC charger it comes with the all the bits and pieces your wiring your connectors your fuses all that sort of stuff and it also comes with a um, 120 amp hour deep cycle battery so obviously deep cycle batteries they're quite heavy but um, and I will look in the future at, at going towards a a lithium style battery but to put it in a, in a bit of perspective a dual battery system can run you anywhere from about twelve hundred dollars to about three and a half grand this whole setup comes in under a thousand bucks and you can do it yourself you don't have to pay someone to fit it I've got a uh, battery tray extra on top of this so that's probably ticked me over slightly over a thousand bucks with the whole kit the beauty of this is I'll show you how simple this is to go in. All right, so before we fit all this up, I just want to point out a couple of key features of the unit itself. Other than being nice, neat and tidy, the, uh, the box and the DC-DC charger and all of that are weather resistant. So perfect if you're going to mount it externally like I'm about to in, uh, in the back of a ute. The box itself comes with a couple of 12 volt sockets, SIG sockets, so you can plug everything in. A merit socket, two USB chargers, and also your voltmeter. Gives you a star, uh, current state of charge. On the front, you've got your 12 volt input output if you want. And on the back, you've got another 12 volt input output. Your input for your alternator. And then an unregulated solar input obviously because we've got the DC-DC charger up here. This DC-DC charging unit, 25 amp hour charging unit, this is the latest in the range from Kickass. This one is actually uh, rated to handle lithium batteries. If you're looking to upgrade in the future, this is sort of where you want to be going. All right, well, it's enough of that. We'll start getting this thing in, eh? All right, so now we're around the front. I'll show you how simple this is to go in. Take your, uh, your fuse connected to the battery. It's all on an Anderson plug, so it's plug and play. Goes straight in. Easy as this, so just remove your terminals. Then you just take your pre-wired connector and all you need to do so one end comes without the Anderson on it so that if you need to feed it through any tight spaces so if you actually wanted to run a your second battery into the cab slim line behind the seat or if you got a wagon into the back of your wagon they've left the connector off for you so you can um, feed that through any grommets so basically we just drop this through here. And that's going to come out underneath the cart.
So the best place to run this cable along is just run along your um, your chassis rails. And that'll keep it all out of the way. So once you got your cabling through, I've just ran mine along the chassis rails here and I'm going to come up in this uh, gap between the tub and the cabin itself. You might see here, this other bit of wiring here. So I've already run some line from the tailgate up into the battery. You don't need to do that. This one here is primarily so I can hook to the trailer. So all you need to do, once you've got it sorted, I'm going to come up here in this gap anyway. End of the back. So once you run your line up underneath your chassis uh, and you've got enough length to where it's going to connect into the uh, into the input on the battery, you can see here it's clearly marked, it'll say alternator input. So it makes it all simple, everything's labelled, so you sort of can't go wrong. Determine where you're going to put the the battery box in the back or in your wagon wherever the alternate way you can do this is come in through the firewall run along your door seams and then come if you've got a wagon and then into the back of your uh, in, of your wagon so from here all we need to do i've worked out this is where I, is the best place for me to put the box all i need to do from here is plug in my Anderson. They only go one way, so that makes it simple. Plug your fitting on, and then that'll go straight into the back of your battery box. All right, so that's literally how easy it is to put the, the second battery in. Uh, once you've, I've still got to work out where I'm going to tidy up all these uh, all these lines. Obviously the second line is the line gun back down to the uh, to the trailer hitch. Um, I need to screw in this plate, just drill a couple of holes down into the uh, into the tub. I don't have any bolts right now so I won't show you show you that. I'll have to go and pick some up. Nice tidy unit. Very simple to do yourself. Probably the easiest install I've done myself out of uh, all the bits and pieces. I wasn't happy with how the wiring was coming up over the top there and, and running down. What I did was I tried to tuck it up underneath the uh, underneath the tub liner there. It sort of didn't didn't fit. It was still going to rub up on this section. So what I ended up doing was running the wiring up underneath, instead of running it up through this seam there, I continued it along underneath and I'll give you a look up under here. I ended up drilling a hole up through the, uh, through the base of the tray here so it can come up, if you can see that, and the wiring comes up, tucks up through there. And then simply runs up, I don't know if you can see that, but it runs up through the hole and then connects directly to the, um, obviously alternator input is one of them. And on the, one of the 12 volt outputs, that runs back down underneath the tub and along the back to an Anderson that I have out the back here, which I'll connect to the trailer. And to put that hole through, 
I simply used a, uh, a step drill bit straight down in and I think that looks much better than how I had it with all the uh, all of the wiring coming over the top. As usual, if you've got any questions, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you and we'll see you in the next video.